Hey everyone, this is Chris from Milkeep, and in this video we're going to be talking to you about how to prepare and upload your Air Force records into Milkeep for processing. We will start with the most recent flight records first and the ones everyone can access personally. The Automated Air Crew Management System, or AMS, was developed in 2019 to hold all flight records purged from ARMS. That system was discontinued in the fall of 2023, but all records in AMS were transferred to a new system called Envision. The HARM and SARM have access to Envision, but the aircrew can also request access and view and download their records. For users that have access to Envision, navigate to the Aircrew Readiness tab and click on the filter icon. Then select the Export as Excel link to download all flight records stored in Envision. A pop-up may appear requesting for a justification for the export. Simply type in My Records in the box and click Submit to initiate the download. Once downloaded, please do not alter the formatting of the file in any way. Envision has had some issues transferring all duty crew positions to flight entries. If any are missing, please fill in an appropriate duty position that accurately represents the type of time flown. For example, if logging evaluator hours on an entry, the correct duty position would be EP. Once an AMS or Envision file is ready and the Military Flight Records Upload Service is purchased, navigate to the upload page by clicking on the IFRR and or Excel file link under the Add drop-down menu on the top navigation bar. Clicking on the link will navigate you to the Flight Record Upload page where you can upload the Excel file here. Now, if you have anything from a green harm folder from paper records that pre-exists all the data that is inside of AMS, anything 2017 or earlier, we're going to talk to you now about how to scan and upload those records. Before reviewing the types of pages the system can process, we would like to go over the types of records the system does not process. The first example is a summary page, which makes up the majority of a flight record folder. Not having to scan any of these pages will save a great deal of time. The next type of record is the summary record of training and GTIMS records from pilot training. The system cannot process these records because they do not contain the component times, like primary, secondary, and other time, that the system needs to convert your military time into a civilian equivalent. There are two options to include your pilot training records in a Milkeep profile. The fastest method is to enter summary totals in the Pilot Training Information section on the Settings page, and the system will automatically generate a baseline entry for each UPT aircraft. Alternatively, Users can enter individual sortie information to an AMS or Envision file as long as it remains in the same format. Since GTIMS does not contain component times, users will have to make an educated guess on the type of time logged for each sortie and equally allocate any other time logged in crew aircraft across several entries. The final type of records not recognized by the system are Air Force Form 3520s and AFTO 781s. These records can also be added to an AMS or Envision file or added using the ARMS template. Users that would like to add individual sortie data from GTIMS records, Air Force Form 3520s, or AFTO 781s can include them in an AMS or Envision file or use the template located on the bottom of the record prep page. Here's an example of the type of page that you do want to scan to upload and the system can process. When using a scanner, make sure you save all of your records as, a, as an Adobe PDF file, scan it at 600 DPI, no less, no more, and make sure that it's in color. Even though it's a black and white file, when you scan it in color, it allows the system to do extra things in order to increase the resolution so that we can capture your data accurately. Some of your older records may have pages that look like this, that are completely zed out and it says duplicate entries on it. If the entire page is zed out, you do not need to upload that page. However, there are also certain pages where there is a single line that was zed out or only a portion. If there is a single line or a portion and there's still valuable data on that page, upload that. We can um, identify it with the system, take the duplicates out, and then still process the things that need to be processed. Before you start all of your scanning, if you have any overlapping entries between your IFRR and your AMS file, remove them from either the IFRR or the AMS file prior to um, uploading. The system will process all the entries once they're submitted. So since you already have everything in your AMS file, the easier thing to do is keep them in AMS and then not scan the pages 
uh, from your paper records that have the overlapping plates. Quick word on redaction. If you want to redact your name or your social security number or the last four from all of your records, you're completely free to do so. However, we'd like to warn you, please do not redact using the Adobe Redaction tool. When you redact in Adobe, it reduces the image quality. If you scanned it at 600 DPI, it reduces it to about 288 DPI just for the mere fact of redacting. If you'd like to redact, try to highlight everything out in black in pen or marker prior to actually scanning them and then uploading the document. Once everything is scanned, then navigate back to the um, individual flight record upload page. And just where you uploaded your AMS file, there's a red circle next to it where you can upload your scanned PDF here. Make sure all of your scanned IFR pages are in one single PDF file. The system does not accept multiple PDFs. Once you click on all the confirmation statements and hit submit, as long as everything was prepared according to this video, you should get something within 48 hours saying that your records are ready and everything is in your profile, ready to be used.